the governor, the Republican mayor of Springfield, local and state police have all said they have no evidence that people's pets or local geese have been eaten. What are you basing those continued claims off of if they are saying they don't exist? Well, Taylor, I said from the very beginning, I'm basing them on residents who are coming to us, Some, in some cases, 911 calls, people who are telling us that they're seeing these things. And again, between the American media or between residents who are telling me through firsthand accounts of what they're seeing, I'm going to listen to the residents. Now, of course, the residents could be lying to me, but I've seen no evidence that they're lying to me. So I choose to continue to try to believe them, to try to talk to them, and to try to hear their concerns. And again, if you look at all the things the residents are telling me, they're giving 12 different examples of problems that have happened in Springfield because of an influx of 20,000 migrants. Ten of them are verifiable and confirmable. So if you look at the, from the very get-go of this thing, including months ago, I've tried to focus my attention on the things that are verifiable. But it's, that, that also means I'm not going to call these residents liars when they come to me and give me evidence of this stuff. I mean, you guys, I'm sure, would be curious in this, and I won't tell you who it is. But we had a resident this morning who spoke with a media person on the record talking about some of these pet stories. So. We're hearing it from people. Maybe they're all wrong, but we're, they're at least telling me. And I choose to trust their honesty much more than I do the American press. Okay, I want to see you guys. One follow-up on that, one follow-up on that, Senator. 